It's me, Mario! Hello! The classic, the OG, the ever popular, Super Mario 64. Widely considered a huge milestone for gaming, Super Mario 64 is a 3D platformer where you collect stars, traverse worlds, and defeat Bowser. Super Mario 64 has 120 stars spread out across 24 courses, all connected by Peach's castle as the overworld. These 24 courses are broken down into three main styles. Full courses, Bowser courses, and mini zones. The full courses, which have six main stars and a 100 coin star, are as follows. Bomb on Battlefield, Womp's Fortress, Jolly Roger Bay, Cool Cool Mountain, Big Boo's Haunt, Hazy Maze Cave, Lethal Lava Land, Shifting Sand Land, Dire Dire Docks, Snowman's Land, Wet Dry World, Tall Tall Mountain, Tiny Huge Island, Tick Tock Clock, and Rainbow Ride. The Bowser courses, which contain a Bowser fight that unlocks a new zone of the castle or finishes the game, also have a red coin star. They are as follows. Bowser in the Dark World, Bowser in the Fire Sea, and Bowser in the Sky. Finally, we have mini zones. These typically have one to two stars and some have unlockable caps in them. They are as follows. The Princess's Secret Slide, which is the only one on this list to have two stars, one for beating it and one for going fast. The Secret Aquarium, which has one star, the Tower Wing Cap, which has one star and unlocks the wing cap. The Vanish Cap under the Moat, which has one star and unlocks the Vanish Cap. The Cavern of the Metal Cap, which has one star and unlocks the Metal Cap. And finally, Wing Mario over the Rainbow, which has one star. Stars in Super Mario 64 are broken down into four main styles. Boss Fights, Red Coins, Random Challenges, and 100 Coins. Boss fight stars are what they say on the tin. Find a boss, kill the boss, get a star. Whether or not that's the Big Wiggler or the King bomb -omb doesn't matter since they all die the same. Red coins are simple. You find all eight red coins and gather them. There are also some other stars that are similar to this, but instead of coins, you find objects or locations. Personally, I bundle those as random challenges, but you do you. Random challenges are mostly my catch-all for a bunch of different stars. Swim through some stupid rings? Random challenge. Climb to the top of many random objects in the game? Random challenge. It's the vast bulk of the stars in the game. Oh, and toad stars go in here too, because I don't like them enough to call them anything else. Finally, we have 100 coin stars, and they are the biggest shake-up to all of the stars. The only way you actually know they exist is that if you talk to a random toad, he says, hey, why don't you try collecting 100 coins in a level? Additionally, unlike every other star, they don't kick you back to the main hub when you collect them. This makes them a lot more difficult to route since you have to figure out what other star pairs best with it. It also usually takes quite a bit of time to do. So now that we've gone through the core gameplay of Super Mario 64, what is this game in a speedrunning context? There are two main categories for speedrunning that we're going to focus on. They are the 70 star and the 120 star. The 70 star is the main intended route for Super Mario 64, where you get to the final boss as fast as possible without using any major sequence breaks, and then defeat Bowser, saving the princess. 120 star is the 100% category, where we collect every single star in Super Mario 64, and then we defeat Bowser. For the 1545, we play through the 120 star round of the game, skipping no star. Technically, you can skip getting a cap, but personally, I don't do it in any of my runs. Hopefully you're excited to see the individual level breakdowns coming up next in the series. Is there a specific level that you're most excited to see? Would you run 70 star or 120 star? Until next time, peace.